So, hey, y'all, welcome back. I got a little bit of tea. We talked about this whole fiasco with Portia now engaged to Fallon's husband. A lot of y'all are telling me he's still a husband. He's not an ex-husband as of yet. Portia lied to us and told us that the divorce was settled back in January, but y'all have been ripping apart the timeline ever since. Anywho, so once Portia made her announcement, her fiance then came out and made his announcement, and then there were follow-ups to that. People wishing them well, congratulations, and Nene was one of those people that congratulated Portia on her new engagement. But before we get into all of that, let's just recap at um, what it is that Portia and her fiance put out there on social media. So Portia first post posted a picture um, of her and Fallon's husband. And this is what the caption read. The picture is still up. You can go on over to Portia's Instagram and find it. It's a picture of her with Fallon's husband. <laughs> This is what the caption says. Our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. I know it's fast, but we are living life each day to its fullest. I choose happiness every morning and every night, tuning out all negative energy and only focused on positive wishes. He makes me so happy. And to me, that is what matters most. Now, some of y'all saying it's his money that makes her happy. But moving on, for all of you that need facts, I get the optics, but Simon filed for a divorce from a previous marriage in January. I had nothing to do with their divorce filing. That's between the two of them. Well, she didn't say that the divorce was settled in January. She said he filed for a divorce in January. Now, in the live that I did this morning, many of you were saying that um, it wasn't final until March or April, the divorce. Uh, all of this is word on the curb, blah, blah, blah. We can only go by what Portia is putting out as fact, right? But all of the other information that I dropped, it's the word on the curb. But moving on, Fallon and I are not friends. Let me remind you, we were introduced to Fallon because on the show, Portia said Fallon was her friend and Fallon had invited her, um, Lauren, Portia's sister, and Tanya to the house, right? That's how we were introduced to Fallon on Real Housewives of Atlanta as Portia's friend, right? So Portia done been to the woman's house. She, at that point, was introduced to... Um, um, Fallon's husband, Simon, and uh, it has later come out that Simon and Dennis are actually friends. And that's how Portia and Fallon met. met. So not only were Portia and Fallon acquaintances, Simon and Dennis were friends. That's what makes all of this messed up. Moving on. But she says, Fallon and I are not friends and Simon's divorce has settled. She doesn't say when it settled or anything like that. Our relationship is a positive, loving step forward in everybody's lives. So if you, it, if you think about the timeline, right? File for divorce in January. And if everybody is saying that the divorce settled in March and April, we're in May. They haven't been together that long, or have they? Moving on with what Portia says. Simon and Dennis are committed to being respectful and supportive of my happiness in this situation, as well as being the best co-parents they can be to baby PJ. Two black men stepping up and being amazing people. Let's praise them. It's a, it's truly a beautiful moment in my life and we cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. XOXO, hashtag love wins. That's what Portia put out on her 
Instagram. The post is still there. I'll put a link to the post in the description box. Here's what Simon put out. I'd like to seize this opportunity to thank every well-wisher of Portia and I, whether via phone, text, or DM. You affirm my belief that finding love is possible for everyone who genuinely seeks it. Getting married again was never a question in my mind, but when? Did not expect to be blessed with a mate so soon. The interesting thing about life is that it is an individual journey. Portia and I, with the support of our loved ones, have chosen to travel together as one um, and spread love and positivity to our community, which is in desperate need of positive and healthy images. Uh, like I said in the live video I did this morning, I don't need this as a healthy and positive image of black love. There's a whole lot more, a whole lot better out there to look up to. And I'm going to start with the Obamas. But moving on, we traveled this world not lightly considering we have been in relationships that have taught us to want and do better for ourselves. I asked her to marry me because we checked all of each other's boxes and then some. We have done the individual work to sustain a healthy relationship. They haven't been together long, y'all. They haven't been together long, but moving on. And I stand next to her, proud that we found each other. What we have is what we wish every single one of you out there. I don't want what they have, not by a long shot. I don't want none of that. Um, happiness. So when I asked, she said, yes, this is all that mattered. Thank you again for your love and support. Truly appreciate it. Okay. And so after that, you got fellow Real Housewives of Atlanta cast members, friends of the show, wishing them well. And NeNe Leakes was one of them. NeNe Leakes actually commented underneath Portia's Instagram post and said, congratulations, P. Always choose happiness first. Hashtag love wins. Then Latoya commented and said, I love love. Let me remind you, Latoya clowned Fallon when they got a little bit more of the details of who Fallon's husband, Simon, was. Remember, Toya clowned Fallon about the age difference, right? But now that he's engaged supposedly to Portia, she loves love. Okay. And then Shamari DeVoe commented and said, I don't know what the backstory is, guys. The post was about love and I like the post and comment. It starts and ends there. If it didn't happen on season 11, I don't know much about it. I wish everyone involved the best. Shamari is letting you guys know if it did happen on the season that she was involved with, she don't know nothing about it because she ain't tuned into what's going on on Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's what that was about. And so after all of the conversation over on social media about this relationship, this engagement between Portia and Fallon's husband, a lot of us are like, what is going on? This is weird. This has to be fake. Is it for a storyline? We are all a bit skeptical. Skeptical, specifically me. I can speak for me. I'm skeptical. It feels, it feels weird to me. I, as I said in the live that I did this morning, I am still waiting for somebody to come out and tell me y'all have been punked or this was all a lie. Yeah, this was a storyline. I'm waiting for someone to confirm that none of this is true because it just feels so freaking weird. It is completely out of the blue, right? And we're still trying to figure out if Fallon and Simon are still married or are they divorced finally? Some say they are divorced. Some say they are still married. I can't get past just calling him Simon. To me, he is as he was introduced to me because this just happened a few months ago. He is Fallon's husband in my mind and I can't get past that. So, like I said, with all of the conversation taking place out there on social media, 
people are really side-eyeing this and people are really and truly laying into Portia. They're calling her all kinds of names and stuff like that. I don't have to stoop to that. I can discuss the situation without doing that, right? So after Nene sent out that congratulations, I guess Nene looked at all the chatter that was taking place and Nene is backpedaling and pussy popping on that congratulations. She put out a statement. You can find the statement over on my um, An Opinionated Queen Instagram page. I will put a link to it down in the description box. Here's what Nene came back and said. Reading is fundamental. I posted a comment and did, didn't really read. I just saw love and relationship and then posted. You have to keep it real as a friend. It looks strange, but I don't know any details. So Nene says she got to keep, keep it real with her friend because, you know, before Nene uh, was let go off of Real Housewives of Atlanta, her and Portia had somewhat made up, right? Rekindled their friendship had a conversation, forgiving each other, all of that stuff. And, and now she says she has to keep it real with a friend after congratulating that friend to say that it definitely looks strange. Well, Dini, I agree with you, but I, I, I had that feeling from the jump. It is strange. And I agree with you. None of us know all of the details. Something is up. What it is, I don't know. Is, is he a citizen? <laughs> you know what? But is he a citizen? child it's just it's weird and it's funky and, and it, it, it it's just it's not a good look Portia it it is not um you can talk about all of the happiness and love winning and all of that for as much as you want and there's tons of women out there agreeing with you and truly congratulating you and, and, and saying that you're winning no I'm not one of those women no uh to me you're, you're engaged to Fallon's husband, and that shit is foul. But Nene, honey, you backpedaling and pussy popping? Why didn't you read the post <laughs> before you commented? It's like, I don't know what that's about, but yeah, Nene, call up your friend, figure out what's going on. She might need some guidance in this situation. All right, y'all, that's the latest update. I told y'all I'll be coming in with updates as I see them. Y'all get down in the comments. Y'all let me know your thoughts. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.